since there have been so many updates to Cricut Design Space, I want to take you through a tutorial to kind of show you around. I'm recording this on my iPad. If you're looking for videos and tutorials that are based on the computer version of Design Space, which looks totally different, make sure you head over to my website, seanmosh.com. Go under classes and you'll be able to find a link to my handbook. I have one for the computer and one that I'm recording and doing on the iPad. So let's get started. When you first open up Design Space, you're going to be on this landing page that is the home page. This is also where you'll find some projects. You can scroll through some projects and find ones that you like. If you find a project that you like, you can click on the heart. You could also hit the arrow to share it on social media. Like if I clicked on the messenger or email, I could share it that way. I could save it to Pinterest. If I want to be able to come back and find this project again later, I can click that little flag and that bookmarks or saves it to my bookmarks. You'll notice that some of these have a A in the upper left corner. That means that all of the elements for that project are included in Cricut Access. So if you're paying for Cricut Access, which is the paid membership, that means you will have access to all of the elements you need to complete that project. I do not pay for Cricut Access. I get a lot of free images and designs. If you want to switch to your Canvas so that you can start working on a project, you can either click the word Canvas or I'm going to click this arrow in the upper left so I can go backwards. The other way is to click on the plus button. Now we're in the canvas of Cricut Design Space. All of the icons that you're going to want to use are down at the bottom. First off is images. So when I click on that, I can see all of the images available in Cricut Design Space. Again, the A is telling us that that image is included in Access. Since I don't pay for Access, there's a price on my I, or my images. That's telling me if I want to just buy that one image, it's going to cost me 99 cents. If I like that image or want to save it, I can use that little flag to do that. If I click on the three dots, it can show me my option to buy that one image, um, report that image if it's inappropriate. Hmm, I didn't know you could do that or if there's a problem with the image. View image set shows you images that are related to that image or designed by the same person. So these are all Black History Month t-shirts. So instead of buying each one for 99 cents each, I could buy the whole set of them for $2.99, which is a better deal. I'm going to click that back. So you can scroll through your images this way, or you can search for images by saying dog. And now that's all the dog images. There's a filter over here, so you can go to just the free images. And here's where you can go to things you've bookmarked, uploaded, or purchased. When you're done in this screen, you can click that close button and you go right back to Design Space Canvas. 
The next button is the phrases. In 2022, this button was added because a lot of people were struggling with looking for projects like this one that just has words in it and, and searching for those under images because they're like, well, it's not an image, it's just text. So now projects that are just text or contain text are found under phrases. I believe those are still under images too, but just phrases kind of breaks it down even more for you. Now let's look at edit editable images. This has combinations of images and text and any text that has a blue outline around it is something you can edit. So let's say you're going to use this image. And once you click on it, you get the green outline and that lets you know that you have it selected. I'm going to hit the add button. So now Say your family uses the word Papa instead of Dad. So I just double clicked on it and Papa and then established um, and actually I want to make that capital. So that's how easy it is to edit all of those different elements. And like I said, anything that showed with a blue outline when you originally put it in um, is something you can edit. I'm going to select that whole thing and just delete it. Now let's take a look at text. When I hit the text button, a little box comes up with the word text. And um, I'm just going to start typing in order to fill that in. Okay. So once you have your text in here, you can go to the left-hand side and click on the font name. And you can see that your fonts are separated by first tab is all Cricut fonts. The next one is system fonts, which means any font I've installed on my iPad. Bookmarked fonts are if I'm going through my system or even my Cricut fonts and I go, oh, that's one of my favorites, I can hit that little flag icon. And then, then you're not spending days scrolling through fonts. Instead, you're able to go over a bookmark and say, oh yeah, there it is. So I can change my fonts that way. One thing to pay attention to is the filter. You can search for fonts that only have capitals that are kerned fonts, which means it's like a script um, lettering. So then the letters are connect together. Multi-layer or, or single layer fonts and writing fonts. I have a deep dive tutorial about the difference between multi layer, single layer, and writing fonts on my website, shawmosh.com. But I just want to show you really quick. If I filter to writing fonts, now it should only show me writing style fonts. So now if I pick that one and say done, you can see how that changed to a single pen stroke, which is a writing style font. 
You can change the size of your font, the letter spacing, the alignment, and with this button, you can even curve your font. You can only curve a font or text before you do a editing to it. So if you ungroup it or change the letter spacing or weld it, you can no longer curve. Next is shapes. You get some basic shapes for free. If you pay for access, you get some more shapes. But honestly, most of these shapes you can find online or you could make pretty easily. There's even a score line, which is that very first icon there. Upload allows you to either take a photo, select a photo from your library, browse to your files to find SVG files, or open your uploaded images. So if I click on uploaded images, now you can see everything that I've uploaded and saved to Cricut Design Space. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.